So today we're going to be looking at the Unitank. This was produced by the Unitarians, I think. They're sort of like the Amish. Except, I guess, with vaping equipment. Hey guys, happy post-Thanksgiving. Hope everybody had a good holiday yesterday. And I hope you're all dealing with your day after Thanksgiving hangovers okay. Alright, so today we are looking at the last of the four tank reviews for Tank Week. And it's been fun, but I'm really looking forward to going back to a regular schedule next week, as I'm sure are a lot of you. So my brother's been up here all week from Texas with the two nieces, and so that's been fun. We were up last weekend at the Mountain Passes doing some sledding, and I'd actually posted a picture to Pinterest or Instagram or something, one of those. I think somebody saw it. So yesterday we were heading out for basically six hours of driving, three hours over to Seattle, three hours back, and then doing the whole dinner and everything with the family. And I hadn't charged any of my mods or any of my 18650 batteries. And, I, and sure enough, even though I let this thing get drained, my Evic saved me because I was able to pass through it right off of the cigarette lighter plug in the car. So I was able to vape this thing the whole way over, even though the battery was just about dead. So thank God for the Evic. So this is the Unitank Clear Atomizer from Kanger. We're going to look at that in just a second. But I've also got some vape mail today that I'm going to be opening. I just got this from Virgin Vapors, and I know I've got some e-juice in here I want to use. So I didn't want to leave you guys out of it, and I ain't going to be able to wait till Monday to open it. So let's just go ahead and do this right now. All right, I knew we had some e-juice, but I'd forgotten. I also got one of the new Vision Spinner Rainbow so batteries. What I really wanted to get into was the e-juice here. So this is still after a year probably my favorite although there are a couple of companies that are pretty close now that I like but um, Virgin Vapors is still probably my all-time favorite. Alright so the flavors I got are an organic blackberry swirl. This is an organic blueberry cheesecake. But the one I'm going to try tonight that I'm going to fill the Unitank and vape on is the organic eggnog. Alright, let's do this. So we're going to be looking at this Unitank today. All right, we got a spot to pull out of here. I don't know about you guys, but I am still freaking tired today. The tryptophan or whatever. All right, instructions. Whoo, that thing looks pretty nice. Got it in red. All right, guys, here's the coil for it. See if I can let you see the wicks. Alright guys, here it is. The Unitank from Kangertack. So you can switch out the mouthpieces and a pretty nice fit. One of the things I already like about this is that it's a top fill. Those always seem a lot easier. And it is a spring loaded. I think the mini Unitank also had like a spring loaded device. So you have to kind of push it down to get it to work here. See all the liquids up here? I think when I push it down it's going to sink to the bottom. Alright guys, I'm going to let this soak up for a few and I'll be back and then we'll try it out. Alright guys, well on my first attempt this is what I'm getting. Before it was saying atomizer short, so I'm going to have to change the coil out on this and then refill it again. I just want to vape some eggnog. Yeah, back. unfortunately I had to waste an entire tank of juice because to get the coil out, all the juice, you got to let that run out basically. So I don't have much of that eggnog left. Alright, the inside part's like this. This is your little spring-loaded mechanism. There's your coil. I'm going to leave that part in there. 
this tank's definitely got more going on in there than most of the other ones and I don't know that that's necessarily a good thing seems like just more things to go wrong with it alright so I am replacing this burnt out coil or shorted coil with a brand new one then take the spring out of here All right, well, that's a bum that it was a bad coil, but at least it gave me a chance to show you guys how to replace it and take a look at the inner workings a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and refill this with some more eggnog, I guess, and then come back and try it again. All right, see you in a minute. Brand new coil and some fresh virgin vapor eggnog. All right, let's see what she's reading at. Alright, so it looks like it's working. According to the little manual here, 2.4 to 2.6 ohm should be baked up to 4.3. So I'm going to put it right at 4.3 because I like to bake my shit high. I like my vape like I like myself. High. Alright, here we go. There we go, now it's working. Let this thing, I'll get a couple of more hits, make sure that it's soaked up real good. So I'm going to be watching the Gold Rush and Bering Sea Gold tonight. It looks like there's a couple of new episodes, that'll be awesome. And then we'll start Monday, we're going to have Chasing the Squirrel, doing our Miscellaneous Monday, and then right through next week with all the regular days for our daily vape. So, like I said, I'm excited to get back on schedule. So this is a bottom-fed coil and a top-filled device, single coil, with its own kind of unique spring-loaded filling mechanism. Yeah, not too bad. The vape's pretty good on it. It still feels like it vapes a little bit high and hot and a little bit... um. A little bit of a muted taste, but not bad. Much better than the Unitank Mini, and it looks pretty cool, too. It's got that neat little kind of, it reminds me of a clicky pen design with the spring loaded and everything in there. The draw is fairly tight. For those of you who do the mouth to lung or foot to mouth or hoof to mouth or whatever. I think the, the draw is a little bit tight but not bad. Just slightly on the tight side. Vapor production and flavor I would give it about maybe a four, three or four star. I do like the design, I like the look of it but I'm not super thrilled. Just like with the Unitank Mini I guess. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not loving the feel of the vapor coming off of it. Certainly not bad, though. But anyways, that's my impression. That wraps it up for Tank Week. Hope you guys had as much fun as me. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you with a whole regular Daily Vapes next week. Alright guys, well if you didn't catch all the reviews this week, here's what you missed. We got the Unitank Mini we did on Monday. We did the Pro Tank 3, then the Hyper Tank, and then we finished off today with the Unitank. Alright guys, you have a great weekend. Use the link below this video if you want to check out the Unitank or any of the other tanks I did this week. See you on Monday.